What is happening guys? My name is Jamie and today we are reviewing an August Burns Red concert that I, that I attended on the 11th of October 2019. And you know what? Let's get this straight. This concert was quite enjoyable but also it was also quite dangerous as well. So let's start off with how this concert went and how I got there. Well, basically, of course, the concert was in Melbourne, so it was at 170 Russell Street. So my mate and I, we missed the bands previously, which was Alpha Wolf and Gravemine. Um, that's because, I don't know why we missed it, but uh, I think my mate wanted to just check out August Burns Red. So I kindly decided to miss Alpha Wolf and Gravemine, which I really wanted to kind of see Alpha Wolf and Gravemine. But I know that Alpha Wolf are a deathcore band along with Gravemine as well. Probably, probably heavier than August Pern's Red. We missed those and I picked, up my, I picked my mate up about around 9 o'clock. Already booked the parking, as always. I'm always prepared and booked the parking. Um, there was a protest going on in Melbourne, so it was a bit of a delay. Uh, we got through the protest and this was all, they were all protesting about climate change. And there's a huge climate change protest at the moment in Melbourne. We, and we parked and we made our way to the venue. Oh, actually, first we got Hungry Jack's. Really nice burgers over there. The burgers are better at Hungry Jack's. And then we walked to 170 Russell Street. Got in easily, got our tickets out, and then we entered the venue. The venue was fucking packed. It was fucking packed. And there were just so many fucking people there. So many people. I'm gonna say it's probably close to a thousand to fifteen hundred people there. And the floor was jam packed of just metalheads. I made it to the floor and we got around towards the back area of the floor. And before you know it, August Burns Red comes along. The build up, the anticipation was fantastic. Before that, System of the Down came on. Uh, and everyone was just singing it except for me because I don't really enjoy system down music Everyone was just absolutely having a blast. Everyone was drinking. Everyone's throwing beers up in the air doing shoeies It was just a fantastic environment. August Burns Red come, comes along and we didn't realize that August Burns Red was actually going to do the entire Constellations album Absolutely fantastic in my opinion. The set list was going to be the entire Constellation album along with a few hits. So overall it's going to be around 80 minutes. So 30 and 7 comes along and I was mind blown at how good the vocals by Jake were. It sounded, it sounded better than the actual album. The guitars were fantastic, the drums were amazing. August Burns Red is as metalcore as you can get. Got those screaming vocals, got those crazy breakdowns, unpredictable breakdowns as well. So it was a very enjoyable night. I'm gonna say probably the most negative part of the night is how violent the crowd were on that night. Probably one of the biggest rowdy crowds I've ever attended to, to a metalcore show in my opinion. It was pretty packed. The mosh pit was the entire floor. So everyone was bumping into each other. I fell a few times on top of a woman, unfortunately, and it was just getting a little bit dangerous. So I decided throughout the mid set to actually go into the mosh pit because I just felt a little bit safer going into the mosh pit because at least there was a little bit of room. The back, the front, we're just clearly just getting all squished. I said to him, mate, I'm going to the mosh pit because I just feel a lot safer. You may get hit a few times, but at least you're not going to fall flat on your fucking face and crush some poor soul. So the back was dangerous, the front was dangerous, the side was dangerous. So what, what, what was I going to do? I was going to just enter the pit. So I entered the pit and of course I joined in with the bumping and everything but I felt at home, it felt safe. I sort of was gassed out throughout the next few songs. I had to go back, had to go back and uh, join my mate again. And I got crushed again so I said to him, you know what, I'm going into the pit again. August Burns Red was really good. I just felt that maybe the set list dragged on a bit in my opinion. Like, there was sort of an interaction between the crowd and everything, but to me every song seemed to sound the same. They sort of interacted with the crowd now and again throughout the set, and then they had a little bit of a break, there was an encore, and they performed a few other songs. 
And then they performed the staple song of August Burns Red, which was Composure, which is just absolutely fucking insane. Because everyone was going to the war with death and it was just crazy, crazy crowd. The crowd was nuts. There was crowd surfing everywhere. And it just, at times, it just felt violent. Just felt violent being there. And people were just kicking in mid-air, punching in mid-air. So it was a very interesting experience. Us Australians, we love our metal. We get excited. But the Cradle Filth concert I went to, Danny was upset about the crowd not being sort of interactive. And there was a lack of moshing throughout, the, throughout that set. But I'm pretty sure August Burns Red were pretty happy with the crowd in Melbourne because they were on fire. What I can say about August Burns Red's concert, it's not the best concert I've been to. Wouldn't even top my top 10. It was an enjoyable experience. I did know the Constellation album, but I just felt that crowd were just a little bit too rough. The organizers should have known of how many people could fit in, in the venue absolutely way too jam-packed and it was really hard to move the only place to be safe was the actual pit itself i enjoyed for what the concert was august burns red is as is metalcore as it gets in my opinion the screaming vocals the crazy guitar work throughout some of these songs they sounded magnificent they sounded better than the actual studio versions better than the albums but would i see august burns red again probably not don't think it's the music that sort of attracts me i don't think this is a band i'll probably see again i've seen them once i probably won't see them again because their stage presence wasn't as great as the other performance i've seen this year probably the weakest concerts i've been to this year i've got to say and for this concert i'd probably give this a solid six out of ten an enjoyable concert it was the crowd were very rough the venue was jam-packed with people at times it was a less enjoyable than i thought so a solid six out of ten it's still a pretty good rating it's above average i probably wouldn't see august burns red again stage presence was okay in my opinion and the crowd were very interactive but i'm gonna say it's not my music to really vibe with Comment below if you ever attended an August Burns Red concert and comment below your experiences as well through some metalcore concerts. So the next concert review will probably be in a month's time which will be Flesh God Apocalypse which I'll be attending to and then the big one in December which will be Good Things which I'll provide a full review of that as well. So keep the discussion going in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.